Hello everyone and thank you so so much for enrolling in ALCS 150 Puerto Rico People History and Society. We greatly appreciate that you have dedicated four weeks into looking and enriching yourself with the history of Puerto Rico, one of United States incorporated unincorporated territories. So this brief video is really just to give you some tips and tricks on how to have success in this course, given that for some of you, the online format might be something new. So we have 10 points and I'm going over them briefly. Hopefully they'll be clear enough. And if anything, you can send us an email. Number one. You want to check the syllabus immediately. Why? Because the syllabus is the contract between you and the instructor. All the basic information that you need to know about the course, as in how it will develop, how will you be graded, and the material to be covered will be included in the syllabus. So make sure that if you have any questions, look around the syllabus for your answer. And if not, feel free to write under ask a question or email the instructors. Number two, if there's something you want to notice on your syllabus, it's the component or the percentages of everything that is going to be evaluated. For instance, you have a total of 100%, but out of that, 30% is participation in discussion boards. What does that mean? That if you do not participate in the discussion boards, that is minus 30%, meaning that you will not get a grade higher than 70. Also, um, your quizzes will be 10% each, your midterm exam 25, and your final exam 25. They will be added up as you go through them in the course, so you will see that you probably haven't had a 100% as you go in progress, but you will see it adding up until then. Number three, you want also to make notice of the calendar and the schedule in the syllabus. Why is that? Because it will enable you to read ahead, it will allow you to make plans, and it will allow you to work around life circumstances. Why is that? Because life happens and people either have to go to doctor's appointments, take care of personal issues. The calendar is here to let you know that this is the structure of the course, this is what's going to be discussed each and every day, how it will be discussed, and it also lets you know when are your deadlines, okay? So keep that in mind, work around it, and I promise it will work around you. Number four is going to be the discussions. How do the discussions work? Well, when you look, you will see that there are less discussions than modules, and that is because you're not going to have a discussion per module. You're going to have two modules and then one discussion that will wrap both of them up. What are the requirements for the discussions? Well, you have to have a minimum of three posts. And those three posts are going to be one original post and then two posts in which you are replying to one of your, your classmates. Your original post has to have a minimum of 150 characters and the replying post to your classmates is going to have a minimum of 125 characters. Why do we ask this? Because if you do these three with the character limit that we're asking for, you will have a total of 10% for that, or 10 points, so to speak. If you only put your original post, but you don't reply to anyone else, that will be a 3.33. So if you want the full value of your discussion participation for that forum, you want to make sure you do the three posts. Um, number five, meet your deadlines. Deadlines are so important, mostly because this course is not a semester length course. It's a four week course, and we've tried to make it as easy as possible to compact the information of one semester in one month. You want to make sure that you have these deadlines and schedule. Um, the beauty of this is that you can meet your deadline at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 5 p.m., any time that is doable for you, as long as you do it before the deadline, be it the exam, uh, quizzes, discussions, you should be good. Number six, please, 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 and I cannot enhance this enough, make sure that you have more than one source of internet. Why am I saying this? Because computers glitch, computers break down, sometimes a browser doesn't work. So we want to make sure that we don't necessarily rely on our cell phones because that's not a smart way to go about online courses either. But if you have access to a desktop, a tablet, 
a laptop, a MacBook, a Chromebook, anything that has a full operational system on it, that should work for you. And the browsers that work most with the online courses will be Firefox and Chrome. Internet Explorer at times has given people glitches, so I don't recommend it. And Safari is always a hit or miss. So just make sure that these two weeks where you're going to practice with the course, you look for the reliable mediums of communication that you will use for this course, and that way you can make sure that it will work throughout the rest of the, of the semester. Number seven, this course is asynchronous. What does it mean? We're not meeting at a certain time every day. It is open for, two modules are going to be open for 48 hours. So during those 48 hours, you decide when you're going to post, when you're going to read. It's very flexible, but be careful. It can be very comfortable and you might forget a deadline. So just make sure that if you're going to do it in the early hours of the morning, do that. In the late hours of night, do that. Like I said before, make sure you meet your deadlines. Number eight, please tell your instructors about your issues. And by that, what I mean is, if you have something that is standing in between you and your deadline, your instructors need to know about this because more than likely, they will be available to work with you. Life happens. People have families, people have work, people have a, 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 a plethora of things happening around them that, you know, bring some unpredicted circumstances to their lives. So if you keep communication as key between the instructors and yourself, you shouldn't have any issues. Number nine, the discussions, as we clarified before, they work in a way that they will be based on the readings and on the videos that you will watch. And if you go through them, and you, you know, the best way to comment on a discussion is to add knowledge that you gained from the experience of learning and watching. This is a great form of participation for the students because all the points of view intersect, they meet. It becomes the most human aspect of this virtual this virtual experience that we're having. So make sure that those discussions are insightful and they're most of all respectful. And number 10, again, thank you so much. The instructors are more than happy to meet with you, to get to know you, and to give you this amazing experience that is mostly about Puerto Rico, its contributions not only to the United States, but to the world. Have a great semester.